Hi guys, I'm Tony Fuentes. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the fast forward effect and the speed ramp with directional blur. So let's jump into Premiere Pro. So guys, open Premiere Pro, a new project. Then you drag all your objects, your clips and your music into the media tab. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. So in this case, we have Kevin just walking through the forest. Oh. Okay, so with I on your keyboard, you can press an endpoint. That's where your clip here that you're going to edit will start. Okay, how about there for with O on your keyboard, you press the out point, and the space in between is the one you're going to drag into your timeline. So you can drag it from the screen, that way you can get audio and video, or you can get one of them. Video from here, audio from here, only audio, only video. So we're gonna get only video, drag into a timeline. And we have Kevin with no audio. Next up, music. The same thing with music. You can press I on your keyboard for an endpoint. Okay, O for an out point, and then you drag only the audio. So here we have. Now what we're going to do, we're going to search for the beat drop in the song. We're going to make this a little bit larger, yep, so we can see. It's right about there. Right there. That's the beat drop. So with C on your keyboard, you're gonna get the cut tool. You're gonna cut your clip right there. And wherever you want it to stop fast forwarding the next cut. Let's make this smaller, make this one bigger. Press V on your keyboard to get your cursor back. And in this effects tab, right click time remapping speed and then you have this little panel which you can drag to see how much you can speed it up or slow it down so we're going to speed it up up to 625 something there we go you can click on the pause delete it and then we have this video with a fast forward clean this up cut the excess of the audio okay and we have fast forward effect so the fast forward effect by cutting is pretty pretty fast and now I'm gonna show you the right way or the smoother way to do it so I'm gonna delete this and in this case for this example with a, we have this shot of a cup panning shot of a cup so in this case this one is shoot, shot in 120 frames per second so we're gonna go to modify interpret footage and the frame rate we're gonna change it to the sequence setting which is 24 and all of a sudden we have a clip that's five times slower. There you have it. So again, I on your keyboard for a name point. And O for the out one. So O. And you drag that one to your timeline. Yes. Very slow clip, almost 14 seconds. So what we're going to do, let's zoom in a little bit, right click on the effects tab again, time remapping, speed, and in this case we're going to use points. So first decide where the speed ramp will start, I say it's about here. With P on your keyboard you can put in points, there's a point and where you want the speed ramp to end. P again, another point V to get your cursor back. 
and now uh, this space is editable this space between the two points so let's put it 675 times faster almost normal speed a bit more and there we have fast forward effect but if we want to use do it a little bit smoother you can click on the points drag them out and then we have this little roulette cursor to make it even smoother the transition and again over here drag them out as much as you want smooth it out and I'm gonna copy this clip with alt and then you drag it just like in all, all Adobe programs so you can see the difference between a normal uh, speed ramp like this one and then one with directional blur so for directional blur we're gonna have to nest this sequence we nest it and then we go over to our controls tab and in effects we're gonna search for directional blur or in Spanish desenfoque direccional then we drag it into the effects tab here we have it and now we're gonna search for the spare for the for the speed ramp right so where does it start to go faster slow 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 fast okay slow fast you can see easily so where it starts okay I'm gonna try this thing click on the time watches then three clips about three clips to the right you click again to mark some points and now you put the direction of the blur in this case I'm gonna use 90% and how about 12% uh, of blur yeah so there we go blur blur and then we're searching for this part where it stops there it stops it goes slower the frames okay so there stop so we're gonna put more markers there three to the right Two more markers and in these ones we're gonna change it the settings to zero okay so basically what we did was and in this space it's a normal speed in the speed ramp we put the blur in and then it grades out so here we go and that's the direction of blur the blurring and then it ramps out okay one more time that little blur in between right now 12% is a bit high it's a bit unnatural but if you scale it down to about 8 and 7 you get a nice natural looking blur uh, similar to the blur you see when you drive by an object in the car you can see it blurred so that's the difference between a normal speed ramp like this one it's a bit more jittery and one with directional blur so guys, that's all for fast forward and speed ramping. So guys, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you're into photography, please be sure to check out my Instagram account. I'm doing a lot of landscape photography and nature. So that's it for today. So have a nice day and cheers. <laughs>